I'm Detroit Free Press Auto Critic Mark Phelan, and this, at last, is the 2022 Detroit Auto Show. It has been three and a half years since Detroit had an auto show. First, because it moved from its old time in the winter to summer, and then because COVID came along and <laughs> scrapped every plan. But this show has got a lot of new stuff that people have never seen before. We've got flying cars. Finally, there are flying cars. And we have a lot of new traditional cars and electric vehicles that people have never had a chance to see before that they can come down to Huntington Place in Detroit and see now. Ford introduced the 2024 Mustang. This may be the last Mustang ever introduced that has a purely internal combustion powertrain lineup, but it looks great. It, it borrows on, on the previous Mustang. It adds lots of technology, advanced features. It's got a brand new turbocharged four-cylinder engine and an upgraded version of the V8. It goes on sale in summer 2023. Toyota is adding a new sedan to its lineup. This is unusual because most car companies have stopped focusing on sedans, but Toyota's got the Crown, which is one of their most celebrated long-running names in Japan. It's the first time they sold a car called the Crown in the U.S., and as you can see, it's a sedan, but it also looks kind of like an SUV. Ford's Lincoln luxury brand turns 100 years old this year, and they're reworking what the vehicles look like and the features that they offer. This L100 concept car is an idea of what they want to offer in terms of features and style in the future. One of the big changes at the auto show this year is that there are actually flying cars. Now, they don't look like cars and people aren't going to use them for commuting. It's really more like a flying jet ski or snowmobile, recreational vehicles. But there are several flying vehicles, some of which use electric power, that people will be buying in the near future to get to their cabin up north or to use when they're going on trails in state parks. It's a really neat and promising new kind of transportation. The Lyric SUV is Cadillac's first modern electric vehicle. It's on sale now. You won't have seen any of them yet because they're just trickling onto the market. But this is a really good, luxurious, sporty electric vehicle. And you can get into it for under $65,000. For the last year or so, GM has been talking about EVs for everybody. The idea that they were going to make electric vehicles affordable, bring them down to the same price range as today's most popular vehicles. Today, the Chevrolet stand illustrates that. We've got the new Chevy Equinox electric vehicle, which goes on sale next year. It's going to have a base price around $30,000. When you knock off the federal tax credit from that, it's basically within shouting distance of the base price of a gasoline-powered Equinox. The stand also has the electric Chevy Silverado pickup and the electric midsize Blazer SUV. Ford and Jeep have both got displays that show what some of their SUVs are capable of doing in off-road circumstances. The Broncos and F-150 Lightning electric pickups going over a series of obstacles. Dodge has built its reputation on muscle cars, big, powerful, loud V8s. The Daytona Charger SRT is their vision of what an electric-powered muscle car might be. Really fast, all electric, but also with a system that will give it a sound that mimics what a loud exhaust used to sound like. Dodge also has a really interesting, sporty, compact SUV at the show. It's called the Hornet. Another new attraction at the show is semi-finalists for North American Car, Truck, and SUV of the Year. This includes vehicles like the Ford Lightning, the Kia Sportage, the Volvo C40, vehicles you're not going to see any place else. Many of them aren't even on sale yet, but they're not going to be at any other auto shows because their car companies aren't participating in auto shows. This is a unique feature of the North American International Show in Detroit.